All right, everybody, I have a very interesting problem I encountered today where I wanted a simple solution to record video over top of a pre-recorded uh, file that I already had. So I wanted some nice background video for me just talking to upload a video to YouTube. Went to search some tutorials, didn't find anything I liked. They all seem weird, complicated, or too many websites, or download a paid program. And I was like, screw it, I'm no expert. But I know how to use OBS, that's how I record my video games when I stream or when I do other content. So what can I do with OBS? Turns out OBS, great program, totally free. I can do some very basic recording. Uh, the one downside, of course, is that this is a live recording. I don't have the ability to say, here's my audio track and I want to edit my audio track and I want to make cuts and this and that. So it can be a bit of a complicated process to stitch together a nice video where you don't make any mistakes. You can technically still do it. There are ways uh, to salvage portions that you really liked, but we're not gonna go into that. We're just gonna go into the very basic. You wanna record some audio over a media file. You want it to look pretty. So I had some drone footage I captured of a waterfall recently, and I thought, yeah, that'd be great footage. Throw it in the background. But I don't want these annoying media control showing up, you know, I don't want any playback, lag, air input showing up. I just want to record straight into the media file. So under OBS, I created a scene. I called it voiceover recording. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's a desktop capture. So, sorry, it's not even a desktop capture. I'm totally wrong. So what I've done is I've added an image here. This image just allows me to have something displaying when I hit that start recording button. I don't have to worry about fumbling around trying to sync up starting with everything else I can just leave it up and then as soon as I hit start recording I can wait for a second or two and then start talking I can trim it out later or I can leave it in if that's my intention and then I've added a media source as soon as I turn that on it starts playing a nice beautiful video let's say that you want to do something a little more complex than just having one video playing in the background while you talk well so let's go ahead and add ourselves another scene or source, I should say, not a scene. So you can add more images, image slideshow capture, media source, scene, so on. We'll go add another media source, which is the first video. It's a local file. I'm gonna browse to it, I'm gonna add that. Uh, you can choose if you want it to loop. So if you're only gonna have one video and you're just gonna keep rambling, you might want, you would definitely wanna set it to loop so that you constantly have something playing in the background if it's too short. We start playback when source becomes active. This is very important if you're planning on kind of switching around between the different videos or sources and you want that video to always start from the beginning. But if you have something where you know you're going to go back and forth and you're going to be showcasing part of one video and then you're going to take a pause to look at some other media and you want that source paused so that when you come back to it, it resumes from where you left off, you'd want to uncheck this box. Use hardware decoding when available. I don't know. I just left it unchecked. That was the default. I didn't look into how it impacts quality and performance. Show nothing when playback ends. Uh, I assume that's more applicable when you don't have loop selected. So I have no idea what it actually does. I just left it checked. Close file when inactive. So the main purpose of close file when inactive is that you can change what this local file is that's the source when you make it inactive. So if you don't want to add multiple sources and you want to change what video is on the fly. Uh, it can affect your performance a little bit. Personally, I'm not gonna select this. I'm gonna let it stay loaded, whatever you wanna think of it as. I'm just gonna add more sources so that it's much faster and easier for me to switch between stuff while doing a live recording. So now we've got media source number two. As per usual with OBS, you drag it to fill up uh, the screen, however you want. I'm gonna turn it off for now. You choose what order you want these layers on. That might be important. And then let's just pretend I'm hitting the start recording button. So I'm going to hit start recording. It's going to have this image up initially because I've turned it on. And then as soon as I'm ready to launch into my video, I'm going to turn on my first scene. I've layered it above the other. It starts from the beginning. And I'm talking over top of it. Everything's great. I'm doing my voice recording. As you can see, my input level's here. I do have some mic filters set up already. Another great thing if you're running uh, NVIDIA hardware, I believe 9, is it? 900 series or 700 series and above you can use nvidia broadcast with amazing technology absolutely recommended if you're using nvidia hardware that supports nvidia broadcast definitely make sure you use it it will help with your 
audio so much more than trying to become an expert at other filters. Ah, anyways, I, I can stop writing about it. So this media source, if I turn it off and turn it back on, you'll notice it starts from the beginning because we selected that, that option to start from the beginning. Now, if I turn on the other one that's over top of it, it'll be recording this media. Uh, the one behind, I didn't turn it off, so it's going to be where I left. It's going to just keep playing in the background. And so when I come back to it, we're going to be at a different... Oh, wait, maybe we're not at a different spot than I left off. This is very confusing. So this one keeps coming. I could also rearrange it on the fly if I have multiple ones active. Um, so let's just see how this goes. Let's put this one on top and see if the other one actually does... Uh, kind of pause itself because that would be interesting. But the, the main point here is now I'm doing this recording. I'm getting my audio over top of the videos as I want. And when I go back to this one, you can see it did keep playing in the background. So just a quick recap, we're using OBS to do a live recording of voice over top. It's a completely free program. It allows you to uh, change a bunch of your different settings, record, you know, all these different ways to create high quality recordings from your computer. I was able to create multiple media sources for different videos that I wanted to play in the background. I set this one to loop so that I could just talk with it nonstop. I have an image available. Uh, you can choose to have other images. You can choose to have videos that will pause when you turn them off as a source and resume from that same spot when you turn them back on. You can use layering to make sure that it looks in uninterrupted. The people seeing your video, because we're doing direct source capture, they'll never see this OBS screen. You can have it up anywhere. I don't have to have this media file open and playing anywhere else. OBS is showing me the preview of exactly how it's going to look as I'm talking over it. So then we can stop our recording when we're happy with all of that. And I'll just show you a quick example of the video that I did earlier. So I used this static I image as I started talking. Video. It's been a long time since I've taken any serious. You can hear my voice over over top of this image. And at some point, I transitioned to this waterfall. Polished finally. I wasn't willing to go and you can in see and again that I'm talking over this waterfall for a crappy beta of our mouse a version of a game that was a remake of the game that was. You'll see that finished. there's no but ugly media it, controls thinking, oh man, I over top of back in the this video played. making it look ugly uh, or anything like that. that so, doing a bit there you go, using Wars OBS to record animal, voiceovers radiant. over top of existing media. Mm -hmm. There's lots of ways you can play around with that without having to become a video editor expert. Uh, I did three recordings. If you look here, you can actually see there's multiple recordings. And it's just because I didn't like the way I recorded the audio, the things I was saying. So to make sure you guys got reasonably good quality video, I ended up taking multiple takes, and now I've got my final take, which you guys are watching. Hope that helped.